Thanks, Sam. Well, this is Bill O'Reilly in the At Your Beck and Call segment. Tonight, our pal Glenn is out in Los Angeles causing trouble. This week, he has mocked educated people and addressed the complicated subject of Iran. I spoke with Beck last night. So, Beck, what are you doing in Los Angeles, man? What are you doing out there? Just avoiding the snow. Is that right? Checking just... for global warming. I'm just checking for global warming out here. Okay. That's all I'm doing. Did you find any? Is there any warming out there? No. No, surprising. I've been I've been hunting. I put an Amber Alert out for uh, for Al Gore and RFK Jr. They haven't been seen since the since the whole um, you know uh, snowstorm, the blizzard. And thing. I thought, yeah, I thought maybe they should be seen because it doesn't look like that whole global warming thing's working out the way they predicted. Okay. Um, earlier this week, I'm watching your program, and you know you pay me now to yeah. do that, and and I really appreciate it. Um, yes. And you're mocking, once again, this poor guy from Time Magazine, Joel Klein. Roll the tape. Oh, how it must sicken, poor Joe, to have to share this time-space continuum with the likes of the little stupid people like Sarah Palin and you. Oh, it, it must absolutely nauseate him to have to look at people like that, you know. As Joe Klein pondered the fact that in Alaska, where Palin lives, there isn't even a Harvard club at which one can don a tweed smoking jacket and dine with suitable companions in a riffraff-free environment, chortling aloud between bites of beluga caviar. I thought that was Masterpiece Theater you were doing there for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I was speaking to someone from Harvard. Yes, Robert E. Seabell, um, the uh, problem is uh, uh, people uh, like you, um, but not you. Surprisingly enough, you went to Harvard, but you don't seem to look down on the little people. No, I do. Um, but, I do. All of these, all of, <laughs> all, but all these other people, like you had, what was it, uh, a couple of days ago, um, you were playing the videotape of Eve What's-Her-Face, the playwright. Eve Ensler. Whatever. Yeah. And, um, and she's talking about how Sarah Palin is, uh, she's, well, she's just not evolved enough intellectually. This is the trick of the progressives. They, they really, truly believe, this is why they had uh, eugenics, we've got to breed the stupidity out of people. They're dangerous people. Now, aren't you playing the class warfare game here? You know, the same thing that others have played, pitting... Wait, I'm playing the class... Pitting. Wait a minute, wait, wait. Mr. Ivy League? Oh, people are just so stupid. I'm playing the class warfare game? But you're, you're riling no, him up against Klein. He's not going to be able to go out of his house. Next time he goes hunting, they'll be shooting at him. I think he might be hunting. Oh, yeah. Well, I would hate to have anything. I would hate to have him uh, uh, be ridiculed on television. I mean, I would have... <laughs> that would be horrid. <laughs> come on. Come on now, Beck. You are playing. You, you are a populist, and the folks love you. Uh, and you're trying to turn them against Time Magazine. I mean, that's what it's I'm not about. a pop... I'm not a populist in the first place. I'm not a populist. I believe in the power of the individual. I not, the populists generally kind of run with the unions. I ain't a union guy. But don't you want I'm to empower the regular, regular folks? Aren't you trying to empower regular folks? That's yeah, that would, what I would like to call that is not a populist, but uh, somebody who believes in the founding concept of our country. Empower the individual. God gave you rights. Go do it. Okay, I'm with you on that. Um, let's well, of turn... course you are. You went to Harvard. <laughs> you know, Beck, you're just so jealous. I mean, uh, it just, uh, I will get you a sweatshirt next time I'll I'm have up, you in, know. up in Cambridge. I'll have right? you know I had, like, straight C's at C.O. my school. So don't mess with me. Uh, you know, I'll I'm, take I'm you. amazed I'll you take got that high of a grade. If I were the teacher, well, I would have believed you I had some connections. You wise guy. I had some connections. Okay. <laughs> let's talk about Iran. Yeah. <clears throat> and big yeah. demonstrations there today. Uh, yeah. Obviously, the government is uh, pernicious, harmful. Uh, they're doing to want the nuclear weapon. What do you think, Beck, is going to happen? Are we going to be able to stop them from getting the nuke? Is the government going to get overthrown? What do you think is going to happen? Um, I'm hoping that the government gets overthrown. I'm, I'm hoping, I said uh, yesterday or the day before on my program, that I, I, I think it's way past time, and I was calling for this with President uh, Bush, please step up and empower the uh, people of Iran. Wear the green tie and give a, a quintessential freedom speech 
and direct it right to the people of Iran and let them know we are on their side. So just the like, like Kennedy passed. did to the East Germans, we are all Berliners. You yes. want that, that kind of a speech? Ich, ich ein Berliner or something like that. Yeah, yeah I, think that, um, I, I think that the time has um, passed for any kind of military strike. It's, it's extraordinarily dangerous. If the people don't rise up and if we don't support them, um, you're going to have real big problems because, I mean, Benjamin Netanyahu looked me right in the eye when I said, this is maybe two years ago, I said, if we don't move and they're acquiring a nuke, will you move? And he, he looked me right in the eye and I believe him. He said, we have a right to survive. Jews have a right to live. They will take these people seriously. And they will move. Yeah, and that's not that's, good. That is the uh, story of 2010. I think that's coming. Uh, but again, we want to be very careful about how we cover it and not a lot of uh, speculation. All right, Beck, I'm going to be out in L.A. myself. Uh, we'll yeah, see, you, see you on oh, Saturday. Well, we should, we should know. have crumpets or something like that, maybe. Or maybe go to the polo club. <laughs> no, no, we're going to go to Whiskey A Go Go on Sunset Strip, Beck, so get ready. That's where we'll be, okay? All right. All right. Well, you back, usually everybody. hang out with that crowd. I mean, you know, you're cool.